Hey y'all. Okay, as y'all know, the last couple videos I've made uh, have referred to the mysterious lady ringing the doorbell in Texas. Okay, uh, I wanted to show y'all this because she is not, um, you know, who she was thought to be. She is not a missing person. She is not Caitlin Dennison. Okay, this lady has been uh, found and she has been identified and she is safe. Okay, um, not long, not long ago, there was, they were investigating a shooting or something. And of course, you know, we all got worried, you know, kind of sort of thought, you know, maybe something happened to her, but nope, nothing happened to her. So this is what happened. Woman in doorbell video is safe. Case linked to a suicide of Montgomery County man. A mysterious woman seen with wrist restraints on surveillance footage outside the Sunrise Ranch neighborhood near Lake Conroe last week has been identified as a 32-year-old victim of domestic violence. Police said Wednesday. She is safe and is with family at this time. Spencer confirmed that the woman was wearing restraints on her wrist when she was captured on video ringing a doorbell. The sight of her wearing just a shirt and frantically going door to door barefoot in the neighborhood about 54 miles north of Houston captivated global readers. She lived at a home along Sunrise Pine, Pines Road with her 49 year old boyfriend who Spencer said was found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound during a welfare check around 11 a.m. Wednesday. Police found a suicide note at the couple's home, Spencer said. Spencer confirmed that she was not the subject of a missing persons report and was not the missing teen from Nevada. The apparent suicide of a 49-year-old man in the Sunrise Ranch subdivision on Wednesday has been linked to a mysterious video of a woman ringing a doorbell in the same neighborhood on Friday, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office said. The woman seen in the video has been found safe and is no longer in Montgomery County. Her, identi her identity will not be revealed. The video provided to the Sheriff's Office by the homeowner shows a barefoot young woman wearing a t-shirt and what could be broken restraints around her wrist. The woman was gone before the resident got to the door. After the video was circulated, the sheriff's office received numerous reports that the woman is a missing person. However, the woman linked to the video was not reported missing, authorities said. Okay, so here we'll go look at this video, and then we'll look through the pictures that they have in the neighborhood. Well... No volume. Hold on, let me turn the amp. Yeah, it's off. Okay. After receiving a warrant, we were able to do a little thorough more investigation. The shooting. Due to the female status as a family 
violence victim, female's identity cannot be released at this time. We can confirm that the female is safe and she is with family at this time. That's all the questions in the show. I some questions for me. Yes. There's some issues, obviously, with the, the video surveillance and why she was wearing those restraints and the circumstances surrounding it. We only have one side of a, of a story right now, preliminary. Uh, the male did really leave a suicide note with some information to help identify uh, the female and some of the circumstances behind why that's occurred. So we currently need to No, that is. The female that is in that video is confirmed to be the same female that is living at this residence. Was she the woman that was missing from uh, um, Reno, Nevada? I believe? No. So that no. is not that. This female. This female that is that is a victim in this, the one that was seen on the video ringing, is not, not linked to any other missing person case that was sent to us uh, online via email or anywhere else. This person is not a missing person, nor was they ever, or were they ever uh, placed as a missing person by family members. Do you guys probably think this person should have been here? It looks like this was a suicide. Yep. So is there any danger to the public? No, it, it went out as a suspicious, suspicious person because detectives, and we haven't went in there at the time. Now, after receiving the warrant, we were able to do a little thorough more investigation. The shooting appears to be self-inflicted by the man. Okay, any other questions? And they were in a relationship. That, that's correct. They're, by us, from witnesses, they were deemed a boyfriend and girlfriend. We're living together at this residence. And you think I'm that part I don't know. I, I believe so because I don't believe either of them actually came out later. That's, that's again, we, I mean, he's, we have only no side of the story. We only have what evidence is collected on scene, what was in the video. So, right now, family, she's being you know, she's uh, controlled by family. So, detectives and, 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 and Texas Rangers are actually on their way to finish interviewing her and find out more details. Boyfriend-girlfriend situation that uh, just between them two, she is not related to any other. Unfortunately, I know there's a lot of people that were up to it that sent us flyers saying that there was a family member of it. I believe there was a family member, but the public sent us lots of tips saying this was just missing. Thank 
Okay, to confirm for all of you watching Facebook Live that commented that you could not hear the video, uh, the young lady who was seen pressing the doorbell camera and we've been looking for over the past weekend has been identified, has been located safe. She was never reported as a missing person. Uh, we are trying to make contact with her now. She is uh, not in this area any longer. Um, we have spoke to her on the phone and confirmed that she is safe and confirmed that she is, is the person in the doorbell. So we are no longer uh, looking for a missing person or, or concern for her safety at this point. Now we just need to get with her and, and confirm what happened and continue the investigation. Thank you. Okay, so now let's go take a look at these pictures. Thank God she's safe, though. I mean, that's the main thing. You know, that she's safe and she was okay. You know, she's okay. And I mean, I'm so glad that it's not what, you know, what we were all thinking. You know, like a kidnapping or a human trafficking or something. I mean, that's, you know, never, never good. Okay, y'all leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, if y'all need to send me anything, you can do so in my email or you can add me on Facebook and send whatever you like through Messenger. If y'all have not subscribed to my other channel, please do so now. Click on the link down below, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till the next time I talk to y'all, y'all have a wonderful night and I love y'all.